What's up guys, welcome back. So today we're gonna to be making a USB and SD card holder. So first we're gonna start off by right clicking, new component, then we're gonna hit R and select a plane. So we're gonna do a center rectangle, select the center point, 1.55 for the height, tab, 6.3 for the width, hit enter. Now we can hit E for extrude. We're gonna do inch and a quarter for the height. Okay, so that's our main body. So let's go ahead and add the USB holes. So I'm gonna hit R again for rectangle. Select that top face. We're gonna do, for the height of this, 0.55, tab, 0.2 for the width, and 0.55. Okay, now we're going to dimension from the edge. Let's do a quarter inch. Quarter inch from the top. Hit E for extrude. Minus 0.625. Hit OK. All right, so we're going to come up here and we're going to do a rectangular pattern. Make sure features is selected. We're going to come down here and select that feature we just did. Direction is going to be this line, that back edge. We're going to do extent. We're going to do 12 slots. We're going to do a 5.6 to give us an even spacing. Hit OK. So now we have 12 slots for USBs. So let's go ahead and we're going to do create and where is it at? Modify. Chamfer. And we're going to chamfer this front edge. So we're going to bring it down. It's so whatever looks good. And it's 2.5. Hit OK. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hit R for rectangle. We're gonna select this top face again. Just gonna make a rectangle right there. We are gonna do 0.1 for the width, or the height. Tab 0.95 for the length, or the width, whatever you wanna call it. Let's dimension this out from the top line. Two point one two five. Try one. Okay, that looks good. From that edge, it's two point two. It's two point two five, so it lines up with that edge. Okay. Now we're gonna hit it extrude. And let's go down three quarters of an inch. Hit OK. So there's one slot for an SD card. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to do a rectangular pattern. Features, the feature we just created, directions. All right, so it looks like you fit five of them in there. And then we're going to add a couple down in the front. Let's only do two. 0.25. Hit OK. Alright, so now we got 12 USB slots and 10 SD card slots. Alright, now all we gotta do is add a name on the front so we know whose USB sticks these are. Let's go ahead and put it right there. E for extrude. Select that. Let's go minus 0.05. All right, now it's all ready to send over to the 3D printer. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on future content and hit that thumbs up button if you like the video. And make sure to let me know in the comments on what you want me to make next. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.